Maybe they have two kids that are preschool or maybe they have just started and they are feeling that pressure of, hey, the house is getting smaller, we're getting bigger. What do we do now to make the step into our next home? Yeah. And so that's quite a well-trodden path for me in terms of figuring out the strategy to buy before they sell, whether they can retain the existing, turn it into a rental or whether they actually have to sell it. What are the long-term implications of that? Um, that's kind of like where I really dwell the most because that's usually where people are, are readjusting everything, like mm. their, their goals, they're setting their goals, but they're also kind of reconsidering some of the, the risk management strategies and they're thinking about their disposable income now that dual incomes are back online. How do we best allocate that towards repaying the debt or investing? Which one's best for us? That's the kind of people that I really enjoy yeah. hanging out with. Yeah. Nice. And do you help them set or figure out what those goals are as part of that? Yeah. So the financial strategy sessions that I do, which is the fee-based consulting work, is all about that. Yeah. It's all about just actually you start off with, with your purpose, set some goals, choose your strategy, and then understand the tactics and actions underneath that. And that's kind of what I've been developing off the back of the podcast. And that's kind of like the gateway that I like to onboard people with. Because then we kind of have this framework now that they can use independent of me, um, but they can use me to implement some of that stuff or not. But that's that's what their master strategy is. Nice.